Okay, good morning. Quick video for this week, Unit 5, Plan a Flip Lesson. This unit will be this week and next week, and then we'll have a vacation week while we're away from work here at the Tech of Monterey, at least. And then the week after that, we'll just do a wrap-up of the whole thing. So after we finish these four, four pillars, so we're done with that, uh, if you didn't see the video that we recorded with John Bergman and Kate Baker from Friday, please go and take a look at that. Really interesting comments from both John and Kate, thanks again, Kate, for joining us once again. And thanks for John. We, we got you just on time, uh, early morning Australia time on Pi Day to join us. So go take a look at that video. Some good viewpoints from John and Kate. On to planning your first flip lesson. So this week and next week, take your time. I really recommend doing an initial draft this week, and then people can give you feedback so you can finish that up the next week after that. Obviously, everything's flexible. If you want to work over the vacations, you want to work whatever you want to do, that's fine. Those looking for credit, make sure you get these things in more or less on time. So plan a flip lesson. We want you to create a title or topic for it. Uh, what's your learning objective? Uh, what are you going to sign for pre-class content? How are you going to ensure that the, the kids do that pre-class content? Uh, are you going to use some quizzes? Are you going to use some assignments, some uh, WISC? What are you going to do for that? Then what are you going to do inside the classroom, specifically? And then how are you going to evaluate how it went? Maybe evaluating the learning of the students, evaluating whether they like this style of learning or not. Um, you could be either or, or both. You choose. And then, as always, reflection of how it went, or if you haven't done the flip lesson yet, ref reflection on the process of going through and designing this. How has that made you think about your your role as a teacher and, and your job as an educator. And post that as always to a blog post and make your video. So again, try to do it early if you do it this week and then promote it through the comments on Unit 5. Get other people to come in and jump and look at your stuff and give you feedback. Uh, always be on on Twitter. We will record Wednesday evening, 8 p.m. as usual. Uh, I'd really love to have some of you online with us, so we'll see if it's the regular crowd of characters or if we have new characters this week. Uh, so Wednesday evening. Thursday, I'm not sure what if I'm going to do daytime one or another evening one. I'd like to get more of you um, into a Google Hangout, so if, if anyone has a suggestion of a time that works better for them that didn't work the other times, let me know and we'll jump in and do a Google Hangout either Thursday or Friday in addition to the Wednesday evening one. I'll see, uh, hopefully if you give me some suggestions of what you want me to demo, I'd be happy to do a demo during office hours on Wednesday or Friday. Let me know what you need and uh, contact me if you have any questions or doubts or you want to just hang out and have coffee and talk to the classroom. Thanks again and have an awesome week. Thank you.